In this video, we're going to learn about solving for a right triangle using the Pythagorean theorem more than one time. So why do I have to know how to do this? Well, a lot of times we have right triangles that have more than one triangle in them, and then they're right triangles, and we can use Pythagorean theorem more than one time to find the side that they're asking. So just as a reminder, Pythagorean theorem is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where c, I wrote it down here, is your hypotenuse, which, which is the side that's across from the right angle. And the other reminder is Pythagorean theorem is only used for right triangles, which means it has to have a right angle in your triangle. So I have two examples for you. <clears throat> first example, we want to find QT, which is this side right here. So first thing I'm going to do is find a right triangle that has two sides that I know, and then I can find my third side. So I see this triangle here has two sides. Across from my 90 degrees is 65, so that would be my C value or my hypotenuse, and I'm going to call this side X just to make my life a little easier. And reminder, when you're using the Pythagorean theorem, the C value is the one that's important. The A or the B are your legs of the right triangle, so it doesn't matter if you, in this case, put X for A or 56 for A. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up. I'm going to say that X squared plus 56 squared is equal to 65 squared. And I'm going to square these out, so I get 56 squared, whoops, 56 squared is 3136 and 65 squared. So I get <clears throat> x squared plus 3136, draw a line down the middle, is equal to 4225. To get x on a side by itself, I'm going to subtract 3136 from both sides. Gives me 1089. And I'm going to square both sides to cancel out my square root. So I'm left with x is equal to 33. Okay, so that means that this side right here is 33. Now I'm going to use this right triangle and this is going to be my C value across from the 90 degrees and I'm going to solve, we'll call it Y. So I'm going to say that Y squared plus 33 squared is equal to 55 squared. Square both sides, I know 33 squared is 1089 from my last problem I just did. 55 squared is 3025. I'm going to subtract 1089 from both sides. And I get 1936. And to cancel out my squared, I'm going to square root. And I get 44. So 44 is equal to QT. Now I have another example for you. This one's a little bit different on how the right triangles are drawn, but still the same concept. So this time they want me to find RS, which is this side right here. I'm going to ultimately call it X because that's what I'm trying to find. Um, and But I'm, before I do that, I'm just going to say or I'm going to start with my right triangle. Here's one that has two sides, so and I'm going to call this a Y just so I can find my side. And across from my 90 degrees is my hypotenuse, which is 13. So I'm going to set this up and say y squared plus 5 squared is equal to 13 squared. Draw my line down the middle. I get y squared plus 25 is 169. I'm going to subtract 25 from both sides. 169 minus 25 is 144. And to cancel out my squared, I'm going to square root, so I get y equals 12. So this side is equal to 12. Now, it looks a little bit tricky, like how are you supposed to find this part right here? But if I use this whole big triangle like this, I can find this whole side. And then when I'm done, 
I can find the top by just taking away five. So I'm gonna call this whole side Z, just so it gives me a letter so it's a little bit easier. So I have my across from my right angle is 37, this is my C value. So I have my side that's 12 on the bottom. So I get 12 squared plus my whole big side, Z squared, is equal to 37 squared. Okay, I know 12 squared is 144. And let's figure out 37 squared. That's 1369. I'm gonna subtract 144 from both sides. So I get z squared is equal to 1225. And to cancel out my squared, I'm gonna square root both sides. And I get z is equal to 35. Now, that tells me that this whole thing from the top to the bottom is 35, and I only want to know this portion right here. So I'm going to sit to find that, I'm going to say my x value is equal to 35 minus 5, or 30. And I'm taking away 5 because this bottom part is 5, so this top part is 30, which makes sense if you add these two together, you get 35. So RS is 30. Let me know if you have any other questions. Good luck.